Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D minimal text animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create a background. So right click new, let's add a solid. Just click on OK. And on this one we can apply four color gradient so let's drag this one and after that you can pick whatever colors you want i'm going to pick a little bit of lighter colors so let's pick yellow and for this one we can make it orange after that you can probably zoom out and just place these here and there till you find something that you like so i think yeah this looks good to me perfect so here we have our background now once you're happy with it, we are ready to add our text. So select the text tool and now you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type watch and let me just quickly select this and I'm going to set the font to let's say medium. It's completely up to you, you can pick whatever you want and let's align it to the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's select this and make sure its anchor point is in the center. So in order to do that, you can hold down the control key and double click on the span anchor tool. Now let's select this press s and i'm going to just scale this down and on this one we can apply gradient ramp and for the colors we can probably pick something like this and for this one we can let's pick this one like that and we can make it a little bit lighter just like that now it's completely up to you you can play around with the gradient however you want so yeah i think this looks good Perfect. Once you are ready with the text, we can probably select this and let's make it 3D. Now I'm going to go to layer. Let's add a camera. So new, let's add a camera and I'm using this 35 mm. Just click on OK. Let's add a null object. So right click new. Let's add a null object and make sure that it is 3D as well. Now I'm going to parent the camera to the null so that we can control it easily. Now if you're not able to see the parents option, then you can right click under the columns and from here you can enable it. Once you're done with this, we can switch our view to the two view and over here you can see we have this area where what we are seeing is from the camera and here we have the side view which you can also change from here. So you can select the left top whatever you want but I'm going to use the left one. Now we can select the text press ctrl D to duplicate this. Now we have a copy and I'm going to like place it somewhere around here and let's place it to this side. Now it's completely up to you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type motion now we have our text over here now we can select this text press ctrl d to duplicate it once again and this one we can place it somewhere around here and we can probably like move it down and let's place it somewhere around here like that now we can type graphics or whatever you want this is completely up to you so we have three text layers now in the same way we can select one of these so let's select the graphics and let's press ctrl d now i can place this one at the top and let's place it at the far away and let's type tutorials now in the same way we can duplicate this and let's select this and i'm going to like place it somewhere around here and let's call this one motion nations again this is completely up to you. you can pick whatever places you want perfect so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so once you're done with this we can probably select all of these layers press ctrl d to duplicate them now let's move them to the top we are basically going to move them f very far away something like that and after that you can just pick a couple of these so let's pick this one and i'm going to place it over here we are basically moving them here and there so that we have a lot of variations in our scene let's place one over here let's pick this one and i can place it over here let's select this one we can probably delete this perfect now we can switch back to the one view now here you can see we have a bunch of different texts but we don't want to like see all of these we only want to focus on this one so for that we can select this camera and let's open it up under the camera options we have depth of field now first enable it 
Now you can increase the aperture. So this will basically blur out all the other text and it will keep only the text which is at the focal distance. Perfect. So once you're happy with this, we are ready to animate this out. So for the null object, we can press P for position. Now let's add a keyframe by clicking over here. We can move this like a little bit ahead. Now first I'm going to like move it far away like that so that everything is blurred. And then it will zoom in to this one. After that, we can like copy this and like make it stay for like a couple of frames. And after that, we can move back to the motion. So for that, we can like move a little bit ahead. And after that, we are only going to move it to this side. So here you can see we have the motion text. Something like that. Now, if you want, you can enable the title action save to keep the text in the center like that. So once it has moved to this side, we basically want this to like now move forward. So for that, we can again move a little bit ahead. And now we can like zoom in like this till a point where you can see this text clearly. So you can do it precisely. So here you can see now it is completely in focus. So we're basically moving first to the side, then moving ahead to keep this in focus. Perfect. After that, we want this to stay over here for a little bit of time. Now copy this keyframe, paste it. Now after that, we can move to the other text. So the other text we have somewhere around here. So first we will move it down below. So let's move it to something like this. And again, let's move a couple of frames ahead. Now we can move it to the side. And we can probably zoom in. Now let's pick a point where you think that this is in the center. So somewhere around here. Now we have to move it like a little bit more down. So I'm going to like place it somewhere around here. Now we have to copy this value and we have to paste it over here as well because we basically want this to be like a straight line like this. So our text will come and it will focus on this text. Then it will stay. Then it will move to the motion text. Then it will move down and then to the side. Once it is over here, we can again move a little bit ahead and let's zoom it in like that so that this text is also in focus. Perfect. So here we have created this animation. Now in the same way, we want this to like stay here for a couple of seconds. So just paste it. Now after that, we can probably move it to the top. So let's just keep on moving. So here we have the tutorial part. Now let's just place it over here. Perfect. Now let's move a little bit ahead and we can probably zoom in to keep this one in focus. And let's keep it somewhere around here. Perfect. So once you're happy with this, we can select all the keyframes. We can right click and let's go to keyframe assistant and easies or you can press F9. After that, we can go to the graph editor. Now, if your graph looks different, then make sure you are using the speed graph, not the value graph. After that, select all the endpoints and I'm going to just change the graph to look something like this. Now, if I press play, you can see we have created this animation. So first we go and zoom into this. And after that, you can see that it goes to all the other text. Now, if you think that this is slow, then you can play around with the timing and the duration between the keyframes. So I think like this, we can like move very close like that. And this we can move closer as well. Like this. So here you can see we have created this animation. Now in the same way, you can keep on moving these keyframes till you find something that looks good. Now in the same way, you can keep on adding new text and you can keep on animating this null object. So this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.